Okay, so we are looking at the shark modeling tutorial. So you should end up with something like this. If you want to get really creative, maybe you could try making a hammerhead or a different kind of shark, but feel free to stick to the tutorial. Now at the beginning of the tutorial, they show you how to get into the UV image editor, open an image, all these steps here. That is totally fine, but there's also a way to do this very quickly. Okay, so you can skip a bunch of these steps if we just simply drag the image into here. So let me find that image from desktop shark. Okay, so if I just drag this into the background of Blender and I go into orthographic mode, then you should see that background. Okay, so that is a, a shortcut that will allow you to skip, I don't know, 10 pages or something. Okay, so the other thing they want you to do is set the background image opacity to 0.4. So opacity is how, how, uh, how do I word this? How transparent it is, I guess. Like if it's zero opacity, it's going to be completely transparent. If it's 100, it'll be completely opaque. Okay, so they want it to be 0.4, just so we can see our, our cube better. Okay, and then the last step we need to do is to set this for the front only. Okay, so there's a views drop down right here. And we want to change this to front. Okay, so what this means is when I change the view, I'm only going to see that shark from the front view. Okay, so you know, I go to side view, back to front view. So what you can actually do with this is, like I said with the, with the mech, if you're making a mech in Blender, you can actually have different images for different views. So you could set a different image for side view and top view, etc. Okay, so that's kind of a useful skill to know. Okay, so we do want this default cube, so don't delete it. If you did delete it, you can always um, hit Shift A and add the cube back in. And I'm going to select the cube and let us set the scale here. Scroll back up. So I'm going to set the scale to 0.5 for X. Yeah. And then uh, go to wireframe mode. So Z is wireframe. Okay. And then we need to drag this to the edge of the shark, just about right here, using these transform widgets. Now yesterday I saw someone didn't have these transform widgets. If these ever disappear, there's a little button down here. Okay? So if you don't see your arrows, there's this little, little button with the, the red, green, and blue directions. You click on that, you can get it back. Okay, so I'm going to tab into edit mode, press A to deselect everything, and then use the box select to select these front two points. Now because we're in wireframe, I'm actually selecting these four points. Okay, just a, a short reminder, if you are in solid mode and you do this, you're only going to select these two. Okay, I know it's small for you. Okay, so make sure you're in wireframe when you do that. Okay, so select those two, and we are going to extrude with E. Then I'm going to press X to con confine it to the X axis, and then press 1, and click. Okay, so we can repeat this process until we have eight segments. So I'll do that again. E, X, one, click, E, X, one, click, E, X, one. So I need one more. Okay. Okay, and then I want to just move this one to the tip of the shark's nose. Alright, so you should have something like this. If you only have 
half of a rectangle, then you did it wrong. Okay, then you probably have to go to transparent mode. Okay, so back to front view, deselect everything, B to box select, I'm gonna select the back, these ones here. And now I'm gonna press the scale key, S. And I'm gonna shrink this down for the tail. And let me just position this here. Okay. And I'm gonna repeat this for all of these other points. Okay, so I'm just scaling this down and trans moving the transform widget to make sure that it's lined up. Okay, so there's a little bit of trial and error here. And then finally, actually, let me fix that one here. Okay, so that's the body of my shark. So you should end up with something like this. It looks kind of like a banana. Okay, so if you want to model a banana, there you go. Color it yellow, add one of the, make one of the tips black, you, you got it. Okay, so now we are going to make some fins. So I'm going to switch to top view, like so. And I'm going to select the, uh, go to edge select mode, control tab edge and I want to select this one, oops, this one and this one. Okay, so select these two fins. I don't know why you can't see them from top view, but if I rotate you can see that I have indeed selected them. Okay, so I'm going to be using something called the knife. So I'm going to grab it on the left hand side here, a knife tool, and I am going to slice Let's see if there's an uh, exact way to measure this. I think they're just eyeballing it. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to slice here. Does that work? No. I have to p press enter to confirm. Let me try that again. So I'll click, click, enter. Okay, so that worked. And I've got to do it on the other side too. Let's get that knife tool again. And click, click, enter. Okay, so now I have a middle part here and I can actually make this a fin. So why don't I go ahead and uh, I think they want you to go to vertex select, but I'm just going to go to face select because that'll be faster here. Okay, so there it is. I can go back to front view and I can press the E key. Extrude it up just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to do E again. and go up a little bit higher. And now from here, this is a little bit tricky. I'm going to be using the vertex select mode. And using the box select, you can select this and just kind of drag it into position. Okay, so you're going to end up with something like this. I think that's enough to get you guys started.